Yuko Sportswear, one of the seven divisions of the Yuko Group, produces denim fabrics. Yuko Sportswear employs 600 persons, has a turnover of 2.75 billion Belgian francs and produces 25 million meters of denim per year. It's the largest division of the Yuko Group. Yuko Sportswear is one of the biggest European denim producers. Its production is concentrated in one single location, which is the biggest integrated denim mill in Europe. This mill is located in Ghent, Belgium. Raw cotton arrives from all over the world. From the international ports surrounding Ghent, it is transported to our city by truck. Yuko Sportswear handles about 350 tons of raw cotton per week. Cotton bales weigh about 250 kilograms each. Once opened, bales of cotton are placed in long rows. Cotton with different characteristics is spread in a predefined order. This will determine the mix. It's imperative that the mix remains the same at all times to ensure a consistent yarn quality. The mattress of cotton is plucked by automatized bale pluckers. Foreign elements such as metal are removed from the cotton whereafter it is transported through a pneumatic piping device to the systems that remove impurities like leftover from the cotton plants, sand and dust. During this process the cotton is continuously mixed in special silos. The final result is a homogeneous mix that can be fed into the carts. The complete raw cotton preparation is controlled by a fully computerized system. The mixed and cleaned cotton is the basic material that is fed into the carts. Here, tiny metal pins roughly comb the cotton in order to obtain, as much as possible, parallel pulled fibers. This operation is completed in two consecutive movements. The result is a thin fleece that is pulled into a loose rope called sliver. The sliver has no strength and its only purpose is to serve as raw material for the open-end spinning process. The principle of open-end or rotor spinning is simple. The sliver is fed into the machine it is raveled out and pushed into a fast turning rotor at least 50,000 rounds per minute. Through the centrifugal forces, the fibers are thrown out and form a very regular yarn that can be spun at great lengths without thicknesses or slabs. Possible deficiencies are handled by robots that constantly monitor the machine. Full bobbins are automatically loaded into carts. From here on, the yarns can go two ways either directly to the weaving room as weft yarn or to serve as warp yarn. The bobbins that contain the warp yarn are placed on a warping creel. They are pulled down one by one and are rolled at very high speed onto a dyeing beam. It takes 12 dyeing beams to produce one die set.
The dyeing beams are placed in front of the continuous dye range. The yarn is washed before being dyed. Indigo dyeing is obtained by dipping the yarn several times in an indigo solution. Between each dip, the indigo is fixed through a natural oxidation. Not oxidized indigo has a green cast that turns into blue the more the oxidation process is completed. The particularity of indigo dyeing is that the yarn is only superficially dyed. The center of the yarn remains white. After the dyeing is completed, the sheet of yarn is rinsed to remove the non-fixed indigo and then strengthened. This means that the yarn is coated with a thin layer of starch that gives the yarn enough elasticity in order to ensure sufficient processing during the weaving operation. The dyed and strengthened yarn is pulled on weaving beams. While waiting for being woven, they are parked. This intermediary stock of ready beams, in many different qualities and colors, ensures great flexibility. This enables us to react swiftly to customers' orders. Yuko Sportswear has two weaving rooms one with 144 rapier looms and one with a mixture of air jet and rapier looms. On the air jet looms, with their somewhat 800 picks per minute, by far the fastest, the weft yarn is guided into the warp by means of air pressure coming out of a large number of nozzles. Rapier looms are not so fast, around 500 picks per minute. The system too is different. The weft yarn is guided towards the middle of the loom by a yarn holding grip arm. There, the yarn is taken over by a second grip arm and pulled to the other end of the fabric. All looms are electronically monitored and all data on efficiency and quality are processed by a central computer. The woven fabric disappears into the cellar where it is rolled on to big put-ups. This procedure allows a first quality inspection straight after weaving. From the cellar, the fabric is directly fed into the finishing line. This is a continuous machine that performs different operations. First, the fabric is singed. This means that redundant cotton fibers are burnt off. Then a finishing product is applied. This product facilitates all consecutive operations. It also contains an agent that improves the suitability of the fabric. Now the fabric is cued, which means that the weft is deliberately forced into a predetermined angle to compensate the twist of the fabric due to its construction. 
thus to avoid twisted legs. The skewing is electronically monitored by sensors. After drying on steam heated drums, the fabric is adjusted for width. This machine is fully computerized. The ultimate quality of the product will largely depend on the use of exact temperatures during the drying process. Therefore, very special attention is paid to those temperatures. Finally, the fabric is pre-shrunk. In a mechanical way, the remaining shrinkage of 15 to 18 percent is reduced to 2 to 3 percent. The fabric is set by way of two enormous drums covered with felt. Continuous color monitoring is made possible by the most advanced technology in this field. It assures a uniform production. The finished fabric is pleated without tension to let it cool and relax while waiting for final quality control. Inspection tables are equipped with all kinds of electronics that allow the inspector to indicate the deficiencies. The first barcode tickets are applied to the fabric roll. After final inspection, the rolls are automatically wrapped and the second barcode ticket is stuck to the outside of the roll. The rolls are put on pallets and loaded in trucks for dispatch to our central warehouse. Quality is a continuous preoccupation during the entire production process. Computer-controlled color measuring, tear strength, tensile strength. The industrial laundry department doesn't only wash the fabrics in the same way our customers would do, it also performs tryouts on shrinkage, color fastness and abrasion effects. At the request of any customer or supplier, the laundry department equally tries out new products, procedures or techniques. It also checks on the quality of the superficial dyeing of the yarns by way of stone washing where pumice stones rub away the thin layer of indigo from the yarn. This procedure produces the blue-white contrast that makes jeans so unique. All administrative, commercial and technical departments are located in modern offices nearby the mill. This improves, yes, speeds up communication to the sole benefit of the customer. The industrial site, Brown, was built in 1948 and through continuous investments it adjusted to the needs of modern production technologies. Today it is the largest integrated denim mill in Europe. To supply the important companies of the jeanswear industry, Yuko Sportswear relies on the quality of its products and its services, the flexibility to react to specific requests from its customers, the reliability and speed